Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. We have back in my shop this 2008 Toyota Prius. Got a lot of service and besides this little cosmetic damage on the lower part of the bumper cover, it should be good to go for a long time and I'm sure you will agree. This is the generation 2 which is most targeted for that catalytic converter theft. I have huge amount of these covers all over here and I also have the Gen 2. Look how ginormous it is. So the owner agreed he wants to try to protect himself. He agreed for me to install one on this Prius. This is basically what you see how you get it. That's the manual with the mounting hardware. And this is the shield. So let's go and put it on. And it looks that the first part in the owner's manual are these three nuts. They are 10 millimeters. I see some surface rust, so I started with the ratchet, but now I can use my power tool. Some rust, it's slowing it a little bit down. There we go, three nuts gone, and the shield should leave. We are going to be using these studs in this install, so I will put immediately a bunch of anti-seize on it, so everything is nicely moving. The next step is to bring the shield and we will be marking the areas for the new six holes. So I'm bringing the shield and I will be placing it here on the studs in the front and just temporarily placing new nuts on those. I also brought a little support right here so I don't bend this steel. So I have it on that support. I will be theoretically good. If you have an extra person, but well, it's fine. Everybody can do it alone. As we said, these new nuts that will nicely hold. I can continue with these extra two. One is here. And you will see that will help me to mark three new holes on each side. So, one more time, I will check the alignment right here in the front and if I think it's centered, I have that spring-loaded punch tool and I will basically that way find the centers here and mark the future area for drilling the new holes. So it's a three there, now coming on your side, it will be also three right here. Now I'm going to go the opposite way, removing these three new nuts and removing that entire shield. Here I have this special cobalt drill bit, they are made for metal and the low speeds. I will locate the punch hole or mark, it's a center mark basically, and I can start very slowly drilling that hole. Obviously if you do it yourself, wear eye protection and gloves. a lot of shavings coming off that are hot so it's funny when they 
fall on your arms, they burn you. But it's fine. It's not very bad. And first small hole is prepared. I will continue with five more and then we will grab together another drill bit. So now we have ready six holes, three on each side, plus three studs right here. And here are the riveting nuts, goldies, I need to install it in these areas. But the riveting nut is too big, so I need to increase the size of these six holes. And this is the special drill bit I will keep using right now. And I will keep carefully drilling until the opening the hole will be big enough to accept that river nut. I already did it a few times, so I know I'm coming closer. I will just compare it, just make sure, not yet. Okay, Peter. And that's it. Look at it, it nicely fits there. I will repeat on remaining five holes the same thing. I have all six holes enlarged correctly and now comes to the game, this special riveting tool. Basically what I do, I extend this tip all the way up. Then you take the goldie, which you saw, and screw it all the way down. And that allows me basically insert it in the hole. And when I pull on these levers, it makes that rivet bigger basically and fully fitting in that hole. So look at this. Boom! And that's it. Now I will unscrew it and I will show you the result. It's absolutely gorgeous, in my opinion. Here you go. This is the result on one of those holes. The rivet, it's beautifully installed, beautiful golden color. Now I will continue on remaining five. Little detail about this cat shield system. Every single time, that's my observation, I get another shield for different Prius or different vehicle. They give you one more of these goldies. I guess in the case somebody will mess up, you don't have to go and try to find such a not very common item. So they give all of us one extra. So if we need the day six, I have in the back actually seven. And you see, this is pretty great system. I love it. And now you will see me coming back with the whole shield. This one is really big. And I will put, let's say, one nut in the front. Just hold it in the place. And after that, I will use at least one bolt, uh, supply bolt in the back. So, this seems to be good. As I said now, oh, the gloves. I'm using gloves because it's a chunk of steel. I think they cut it with the plasma cutter. So, sheet of steel will be always sharp no matter what you do. So you saw that I will just put there one and out of that hardware, supplied hardware, I pre-assembled one of those bolts already with that spring washer and the large stainless steel washer. And voila, it's temporarily holding in the place. Now I can continue with the other ones. 
There's a lot of you commenting about these things. Hey, this cannot stop anybody from cutting it off. There's no way, and this is waste. And well, we will be the owner will be putting stickers on the windows that the, there is the shield. Basically, the whole idea is create vehicle which has sun protection. My opinion, pretty good. Of course, everything can be destroyed and cut off. But the whole idea is those thieves are in hurry. So they want to make as little noise and spend as little time on this job. So this is definitely will slow them down. Now many of you say, well, somebody can jump under and take that special tamper-proof drill bit, right? Bring it with them, buy it somewhere in Home Depot or Ace or have the set and just unscrew it quietly. So I talked to the sale salesperson at the cat shield. If I remember correctly, his name is Sam. You are free to call them. And he actually explained, it was amazing to me, he explained that the tip which is still on the table and I will use to fasten it, that tip is their own patent and you can't buy it anywhere else. The design of it the tamper-proof tip is completely unique to this company. There are very many Priuses of this second generation Gen 2. So the whole idea is if there is one which has a shield, hopefully they will move on the other one which doesn't have a shield. And as you can see, you brought me luck again when I was punching those holes, trying to be perfectly in center, it actually worked out. Because look at it, all of three studs with nuts and all six bolts perfectly follow the pre-cut holes. And I will be able to torque the whole thing and tighten it to the vehicle. I'm trying to show you that tip which the sales rep said this is unique to their product. I have such a universal handle from Craftsman. Hopefully you can see it, which fits all these tips. And when I correctly, oh yeah, that went in nicely. I will start getting those fasteners in. I will not torque them yet. First, I will make sure everything is perfectly in the place. So, you just go gradually. You don't start yanking on it right now. As common sense tell you, tells you. So, we have here a spring washer. And then we have the, all of that apparently stainless steel. This uh, high quality that spring washer should we will obviously not forget about these 10 millimeters nuts on those studs. I could theoretically put some blue thread locker on there. Could, but I will torque it nicely. And as you know me, I will go multiple times around to gradually torque everything so it's perfectly seated and squished on the body of the generation 2 Prius. I'm assuming that even the biggest skeptic has to agree it will be way more difficult to get to that catalytic converter than the way when it arrived today without any protection. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, you find it helpful and please be subscribed. I have way more videos coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.